Seconds out, round one. So, first round of the 6 threes like welterweight contest. And Eamon McGee from Belfast in the white shorts. And Carl Taylor from England in the purple. This Carl Taylor's been around a long time, Dave. Yeah, he's had loser fights, loser hard fights. He's a real experienced guy. I'll tell you, he's a tough nut. Well, he's actually had his big moment of glory was when he beat the former world champion, Dingan Thabella in 94. And that gave him a crack in the British Light World of it, uh, title. Lost in eight rounds to Michael A, but really is show pointing already and laughing too. He's gonna give this guy a really hard fight tonight, McGee. Oh, that's, that's naughty. Well, that's naughty. Taylor went down, he's laughing too, in fairness. There we see Taylor laughing, but uh, really was quite nasty, Dave. He was on the floor with his back to uh, McGee, and McGee punched him in the back twice. Well, you don't shoe boot like out there in front of a guy like that. And there is Nobby Nobbs, manager of Carl Taylor, getting a telling off, and he's laughing too. This could turn into a bit of a grudge match here now, because these two guys haven't got off their good start. He's a bit little already. Well, he's got to be careful with Taylor. He really can fight. He's very hard to hit. He's got a short, compact style. And when he comes in with his head low, there we see it. So the fact that he's small, too, when you have to punch down on somebody, you lose a lot of your punching power. And that's what your, your man's... Uh, Taylor, he's making himself even smaller. So, as so far as possible. <laughs> but he's bending so far down and his knees are so well bent. He's going to be very, very, very hard to nail here. You could break your hands hitting the top of his head. Maybe that's his tactics. That could well be. But good shot, right hook. Well, McGee needs to be careful here. Taylor really is up for this tonight. Good right hook from McGee. I think uh, Taylor uh, fancies himself here tonight because he's, he's doing he's shoe booting again. <laughs> I think he fancies his chances tonight. Well, McGee really hit the headlines eight years ago. He won a silver medal in the World Junior Championships in Puerto Rico, and he beat a Cuban. On the way there, lost in the final to a local East German. And McGee just having a, difficulty landing here. He's just like a wee bulldog there. He just he just lets him go from from anywhere. Head down and just bang, just tears away. Uh, well, good shots again. The speck of blood on Taylor's face, is that... No, he's not cut. Well, that's a great first round. I don't know how to score that one, it was very close. Well, there is blood there, I wonder where that's from. Taylor is well known as a cutter. Cuts quite easily. And then Nobby Nobs. These two really are characters, they, they'll have a, a joke and a bit of fun. Well, I watched the screener there when uh, the referee came over to him to warn him he was going to get here with a big spoon, staring it around. <laughs> In other words, <laughs> stare it up, boys, stare it up. We're going to see Taylor falling over here, but just you see the way that's see the way he runs under the head there. That's dangerous. Just watch now. It was pushed through the ropes. So watch this. Bang! Bang! Oh no! Oh, no! 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 That's, no. that's not allowed, Mr. Wilkes. That's not allowed. Corners, ten seconds. Well, there's blood on the back of Taylor's head. I wonder where that's coming from. Second be his head, Nicky. Three, two. Well, he is actually cut on the back of his head, Taylor. <laughs> McGee here should be, like, see with the reach that he has, he, he should be staying off. Jab, 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 pick the guy off. He should be setting the pace here. Moving round the ring instead of moving back. If you move straight back, you'll get pushed on the ropes. You take side steps. 
move your foot to the right, move your foot to the left. That's what he should be doing. He's not he's not using all the advantages that he has here. Well, I think he's been surprised by the start by of, of Carl Taylor because McGee has never had this done to him in his five fights so far as a professional boxer. Only Steve McGovern's last the distance. He stopped the other four, and nobody has come out at him like this. Again, throws Taylor to the floor. See the way you have to punch down, the way you're throwing, throwing them down? You lose absolutely, you lose about 75% of your punching power doing that. It's a very frustrating thing, because you're, you're throwing good punches, but by the time they hit the target, it's about three feet away from you. Or in Taylor's place, five feet. Well, he's really, I think, doesn't know what to do here. Good shot. Taylor took it so well. He just soaks those up like a sponge. He's a real tough wee guy. Plenty of experience. This is a real, this is, it's a good step up in class for McGee. A good shot. Again, doesn't hurt Taylor. Referee's right now, he's a wee bit dangerous with the head now, so that's what McGee will have to watch out for. If those heads get in close to start rubbing, it can cause all sorts of damage. These are good shots from McGee, single shots. This is what he needs, he needs a single shot thing to, to, to make his openings and stand back and, and see what he's doing. Because this wee guy's getting, getting in so close and he's so small, it's very, very, very hard to see what you're doing here. You need to keep distance between him and Taylor so he sees exactly where the punches are going and where they're coming from. Well, that right-hand lead of McGee's is catching Taylor as he comes in. He's countering, leaning back and countering. It's amazing, Dave, how many Irish boxers are southpaw. See tonight, how <laughs> many, have we, many have we seen tonight? I think every, every boxer so far has been southpaw from Ireland. This young guy, Taylor, he's come in here now, he's come in for a real tumble. This is, he wants a war, this is what he's come for tonight. He's come here to make his mark. Well, fell around the second round, again very close. I think I'd give that one to McGee with a cleaner punching. Well, there were some good single shots in that last round, Dave, some good counters. He was leaning back, making Taylor miss, and then coming in with the shots. Here's some nice stuff from McGee. We're going to see some of these nice jabs and left hands. That was a lovely left hand. He just drove that one right in there and just bang on the target. Very nice. But this wee guy keeps coming forward and keeps putting you under pressure. He never leaves you alone. He's on this guy like a Clegg. Later in the round, we'll see more good jabs from McGee. But watch this wee guy coming in. Nice left hand, beautiful. But Taylor fights back, he's a real game guy. Second fight, round three. Well, third round, and Eamon McGee in the white shorts is having... Oh, good right hook. But Taylor fights back the only way he knows how, really. If he does get hurt, he comes straight back, and Barney Wilson giving him a strict telling off. For what, I really don't know. That was a nice uh, right hand uh, by, by McGee. They just caught to the right on the temple. Stunned him just for a, a split second, but he got his composure back and got right back in there again. A real tough, tough, tough guy. But McGee is sta starting to find his measure now, Dave. He's, he's tough, but I think he's starting to walk on the single shots now. Finding his range. Well, McGee's doing the right thing. He's standing back now. He, he's not getting involved. He's trying not to get involved. He's keeping this at long distance, which you have to do. Throwing some nice uppercuts. So that was a nice combination here. Left hands, right hands, and a few uppercuts. That was very good. Very nice. Well, that's it. Lovely start, uppercut. He's starting to hurt Taylor now, and it'll be a great performance if he can stop him. He's gone the distance. Likes of European champion Poli Diaz, Andy Holligan, PJ Gallagher and Peter Richardson. So he really is a top quality performer, this Carl Taylor. 
You think Amariel did good talks last, but McGee has realized here now that it's it's pointless throwing punches down. And that's why now you see he's beginning to throw a lot of uppercuts. He's bringing the punches up instead of throwing them down because he's having more success that way. He's getting the target. Oh, holding and hitting there, the referee didn't want him for it. See, what he's trying to do there is now, when Taylor's coming in, he's trying to uh, watch his feet, he's taking a step back and trying to throw up on the left overcut. He's having some good success for that. It's a nice wee move if you land the punch on target. One step back and bang with the left overcut. Nice shot too. Good left touch from Taylor there, bit of a slap, but uh, I wouldn't have liked to take that one. Well, we're in the last half minute of the minute of the round, and this is where McGee came on strongly in the last. Good oh. again, a left hook, come up a cut. Good work from McGee as Taylor calls him on again. Be careful of the heads, Robbie. Third round is great value, good entertainment here. He really does look like a man who's been around a bit. You can see his face there, he's cut up on numerous occasions. You know, he's a tough wee guy, Nicky, and I'll tell you this, he has, he's, this guy's come for a, for a war here. And there's, we're going to just see the end of a round here. We're going to see the nice few jabs from uh, McGee. Throwing him all over the top, you see, and this is Taylor's uh, applying the right tag. Tag is keep keep your head low, keep it out of trouble. This is turning into a bit of a needle a needle match now because both fighters are getting a wee bit frustrated. Early in the round here again, we're seeing McGee with his nice straight jabs. That's wee guys. Hard. Oh, that was a cracking right hook. Great Just shot. stunned him there for a split second. Oh, ten seconds. Caught him right on the temple. Second in. Round four. Well, the fourth round, and McGee in the white shots has really had it mostly his own way against Taylor, but Taylor, as always, put him picking up a, a really great show. It's a bit of needle maybe, Dave, but it's, a, it's, 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 it's fun involved, you know, it's not really nasty, is it? It's, it's no, competitive. But it, I don't think I don't think McGee's taking it. <laughs> I think no. McGee's a wee bit, for the one of a better word, annoyed. <laughs> well, Taylor having some, some success with that jab. This is what McGee needs. If, if McGee wants to, to travel up the ladder of success, Nicky, he needs to fight outward guys, tough guys. There's no point in fighting guys that you can bowl over in one or two rounds because you learn nothing. From a guy that gets here, he can learn loads. And this, this will improve his fight game tenfold. Oh, good job again from McGee. If he stands back, if he stands back, oh, nice one, two. And again, it's Taylor just stands there, it's amazing. He just, he's just, he's just, he's just like a wee rhinoceros, he just stands there, bang, you give it to me and I'll take it, I don't care, Nick. I'll take your best shots, and <laughs> he's doing it. And he's still there, he's still full of fight. But I like to see McGee doing this, picking his shots. Nice, good, hard jabs, bang, one, two, threes, this is what he has to do. Well, I think Taylor's a very, very fit man. Oh. Again, McGee trying to stand on the foot of Taylor. Good shots. But Barney Wilson really give them, giving them a strict telling off there. Oh, beautiful. Well, great shots from McGee. Well, all the 
quality work coming from McGee now. Taylor missing with most of his punches. McGee becoming very, very accurate. Taylor's running in, trying to knock him off a stride. He's, he's hustling and bustling here, which is a tactic that, he, that he's employing to try and upset McGee in some way, you know, throw him out of a stride, knock him out of his routine. But he's oh, not good shots. Oh, beautiful. Very nice. And again... Referee didn't warn McGee there for hitting and holding. He's beginning to look now what he's doing, he, look where, he, where he's throwing the punches, he's throwing nice one, two, threes, nice straight shots, nice some nice uppercuts. Well, Carl Taylor came back to the corner there, looking just a little bruised. Well, he really is a very, very brave man, very fit too, and very determined. Strong as an ox, thinking this guy is full of fight. As trainer told me today, this guy has come for a war. As we're, as we're going to see here, a nice one two from McGee. Bang! Both of them right good on the shots. money. Two nice, good, solid shots. And he never flinched. Some more action here again. Nice jabs. Oh! Nice left hand. That was bang on the money, also. A wee bit, a wee bit sloppy, a wee bit scrappy here, but there's, he's trying desperately hard to take him out here with oh, one yeah, good yeah. shot, too. Seconds out, round five. Well, two rounds to go to this light welterweight contest. Well, I tell you what, McGee has landed some terrific punches that would have stopped many, many other boxes, most boxes, but it said before the fight that Taylor Kim comes to fight, and he's taken his best punches and still there. And to be honest with you, I'm not surprised that Taylor's still there because he really is one of the most durable men in world boxing. These are the sort of fighters that uh, the sort of fights that Alex McGee needs, as I said earlier on, because there's no point in fighting guys you can bowl over in two or three rounds. When you look at them, they fall on the ground. That's no use. You need a guy when you hit him a good hard shot like that one there. He's going to hit the one back. Well, Taylor hanging on for the first time. He's got an, an amazing recovery rate. He's hurt for, for, for two seconds and he's back. His eyes are clear. Yep, he's got a tremendous recovery parts. <laughs> Referee had a word with uh, Taylor there. I wonder what he was saying to him. <laughs> Good shot again for McGee. Great counter punching. Good right jab, right hook. Yes, he turned that into a beautiful left or right hook there. Nice, nice, nice bit of crisp boxing from McGee. Your man's a real hustler and bustler. He would throw any fighter out of their straight. See the way he runs in, jumps in, runs in. He just charges forward, the head down. The head's quite dangerous too now. But McGee's handling the situation quite well. Down he goes. Really is a bit of fun, this Carl Taylor. Likes to entertain the crowd. He doesn't need the showboat. He does enough entertaining throwing the punches because he, he's a tough wee guy. A bit scrappy and a bit messy at times, Nicky, but that's just the sort of wee fighter he is. Well, we're in the last half minute of this round, one more to go out to this one. And I think Carl Taylor will be pleased to see the end of it because he's taken some really hard, heavy, hard shots from McGee. No, he's trying that big overhand right, like, you can see that one coming from the back of the hole. Well, he tried it twice and twice blocked it by McGee. Nice sportsmanship there to end the fifth. 
both boys very respectful of each other. Now we see the crowd very much enjoying this fight. The Taylor seems to be smiling all the time, but uh, not not smiling quite so much now. Well, there's almost a thousand people here tonight at the Ulster Hall in Belfast. Some good, some good work from McGee. We'll just see an example of his jab. Nice one, two. That jab's just being used as a ramming rod. Look, three, that four. That, that's what you like, a nice good exchange there. And this is Taylor now coming back. He's just like a wee tank. Just keeps coming forward. Up. Bit scrappy, but nice. He's not having much success there, Taylor, but he keeps coming forward. He keeps just, he doesn't know how to go back, this guy. Well, it's the last round of the 6 threes low welterweight contest. Eamon McGee in the white shorts from Ireland, well ahead, but he's had a real tough fight from Carl Taylor. And Taylor's still coming forward, Dave. The guy doesn't know how to get back. He's just, he's only got one gear, and it's forward. He's no reverse gears in his body. Shots from McGee in close. Very, very hard, Chris Pitt and McGee. Very oh. quick. They're very crisp, very, very, very... Uh, very correct, aren't they? Yep, uh-huh. Not a devastating puncher, Nicky, but not in this guy. He's a hard puncher now, but he, he just... When you meet wee guys, I guess, they just... They, they really test the sort of part you have. Taylor slipped there, he was throwing around, he was throwing down here, but it wasn't, wasn't a knockdown. But this wee guy just seems to be uh, able to absorb everything uh, McGee throws at him. Whether he's got a super strong chin or whether McGee is a devastating puncher. Look, great work on the ropes. This really is tremendous. Non-stop work. Taylor and McGee both banging away there. Well, good left up from uh, McGee. And Taylor is hurt. He's holding on. Well, Taylor was hurt there for a second, the first time in the fight, really. There must have been 101 punches thrown there, Nicky. That was an awful exchange between the two fighters there. Well, I actually think McGee is a heavy puncher. He's the brother of Noel, who we saw earlier in the evening. Obviously a fitness fanatic, too. Must be running in the family. Just this guy then has a, a, a chin like Grant. When you get guys that got in the box and where you can hit them all day and hit them all night and you stand and look at you, you say, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> then I'm saying that, Nicky, he just, he just hasn't really caught him one real good outstanding clean shot tonight, but that's well, because of the stunts and because of the style and... It was actually very, very a, a sign of a good boxer, actually. And Taylor is, has been around a lot. Learned his trade well and always gives value for money, as he's done again tonight here. He's getting tired now. It's been a, fought at a tremendous pace. Well, there's the final bell. Both boxers boxed very, very well. Superb fight, and there's only one winner, Eamon McGee. Well, you could do another six, I think, Dave. Crowd very, very pleased with that fight. It's weird we see this. Like this just try and count the punches. These two guys were ha were lettering into each other. Bang, bang, bang. If you count all the punches that were thrown there, you'd probably run out of numbers. A bit scrappy, a bit messy, but they're still... Look at the... Still working, 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 working. And the final round, too, that is... Tremendous fitness involved there. The punch that they're throwing, body, head, body, head. Well, there's Barney Watson, the referee, just telling Harry, Harry McGavick the scores. 
And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Barney Wilson scores that contest. 57, Taylor, 60. To the winner, the Terminator! Aaron McGee, and still undefeated. Well, that was an absolutely yes. fantastic fight. Indeed, Aaron McGee, gentlemen. I big, think this kid could, could really be a world time. champion of the future. Oh, Next up, we've got the main event, Darren Corbett against Nigel Rafferty. The 10-3's contest for the All-Island Cruiserweight title. Don't miss that one.